so I made this statement and today I kind of want to explain what I mean by Valkyrie Noel and Spirit Dive Uno will rule the game together. So in this video, we're going to be going and explaining how exactly you could basically counter every meta team at the moment in like a play by play, basically just like theorizing for the most part. This is very much a theory crafting video, but if you want to sit down here, how exactly it's going to be mono red, green, blue, and the, well, the only non-mono team. There's really four main teams that you see in the top, uh, being the Mario Fuego team, mono green, mono red, and mono blue. Now there's two versions of mono red, two versions of mono green, and a couple versions of Fuego, Mario, but uh, for the most part, we're just going to explain how exactly it works for the like eight versions. And uh, I mean, Noelle is crazy. Obviously she's going to be very good, okay? Uh, I do want to explain though, there's like two main things. One, Noelle is not completely game breaking. She is of course going to counter everything. She's going to be very good. She's number one, but she's not like the number one. I think there's not a gap like there was for Black Asta because Black Asta just completely destroyed every other team on release. So I don't think it's that level. Okay. But like Black Asta compared to Noel, like Noel is a pretty big spike. And I mean, it's a change in meta. We're leaving mono teams, which is very good. Um, so I'm going to have the kit pulled up at the same time. All right. Um, I think the biggest points that we're going to have, like I'll mention now, invulnerability on the combo, basically making it so with Noel, 100% uptime on the Spirit Dive Uno's invulnerability, if Spirit Dive Uno is at least the two loops, okay? Uh, putting the absolute area which is an AOE skill. And what it does is give everyone stun block and gives SP plus two when it's your turn. So when it's your turn, technically you get three SP every time. And Yuno is already giving himself three SP from the skill page. So technically you're going to get six from that. And if you get one other SP from Charlotte, then you're usually going to be able to get your alt pretty much every turn or almost every turn. Um, now her skill page dupe or her skill page like the passive. Okay, bro. Honestly, I have to, I have to pause this though. But like, okay, that was sick. That was sick. Um, it's going to be giving taunt, okay? Uh, but it's only twice, kind of random, so nothing really too crazy, you know? Um, now, the crazy, really, really crazy thing is her passive. When she's at four stacks of Sea Dragon, which she gets a stack every time she's hit. When she's at four stacks, she removes immortality. And you're going to be able to play around that if you use the combo into the skill too. You're going to usually get to the four stacks. And that's also a 300% damage increase when you get to four stacks on the ultimate. So keep all that in mind. Um, now her dupes are like probably the best dupes in the game. Giving taunt removal uh, when she's the only defender on the team. And then giving herself 30% mobility and speed level 1 at LR plus 5. Is basically making her the quickest unit in the game by far. Turn one, quicker than Red Uno and quicker than like uh, Zora or anything. So keep all that in mind because she's going to be technically at 135 speed with 30% mobility increase. So it's like Uno's passive, but more. So that's why it's going to be so crazy. Um, and then obviously, like I said, uh, her skill two is going to be in giving that damage reduction, crit res, and the absolute area that we talked about with the SP. Then her alt is going to be barrier removal and also 300% damage increase if uh, there's four uh, C Dragon uh, stacks. And then her skill one gives damage reduction to the DPS, which usually is going to be Yuno. Uh, but she should also be built as a magic attack user, so do keep that in mind. Um, so now, this is the team. Okay, let's talk about how you're going to use it for the most part. Um, obviously, this is Valkyrie Noel. Charlotte's going to be a damage reduction. Now, Rill is at 120 speed. And I mean, I've already talked about him, but we're going to quickly brush over him again because this is a separate video. Basically, he's going to either give you 100% mobility turn one or 20% damage reduction with 35% speed. So that's the two things that he can do turn one. Then he also just gives with the skill one, if he doesn't have the skill two or alt, a 20% mobility. Uh, the combo itself is going to be 25, but I think the skill one is just better in more, most instances. So yeah, that's basically it. So usually you're gonna just Noel combo, okay? Cause that combo gives Yuno invulnerability. So until it's Yuno's turn, he can't really be damaged. Now it's better to put Noel like this because of the fact that Noel should probably go first, right? That's just kind of how it is. Um, so you want your, obviously it's gonna be Noel versus Noel most of the time. So that's why you wanna put her in the first slot to make sure your Noel goes first, okay? Um, you wanna build her full like this. You wanna build her either like this, or where is it uh do i have it here please tell me i do 
Do I? I don't. Okay, so you could either build her like that, or if we go to... Who is it on? I think this one. This is the other way that you should be building. Um, but obviously, would like this, right? So you ha you'd have four, squ you'd have six squares, and two rectangles. That's basically it. Uh, I don't. Do I? Where did they go, bro? Where the hell did they go? Um, I mean, I'll just put it on. So like, it'll be square, 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 because you get more substats out of it if everything's max transcended. So just wanted to kind of talk about that real quick. But yes, okay, getting back to it. So you combo with Noel turn one. And then it's going to be Charlotte damage reduction, just simple. Now, in cases where you don't want your Yuno know, to get debuffed, you could actually use Charlotte's skill too to give debuff immunity. So keep that in mind. You can give the debuff immunity so that Yuno know, doesn't get his mobility lowered because Red Yuno know, can apply mobility lower on Green Yuno. Know, but usually Red Yuno know, will not silence Green Yuno. Know. Just keep that in mind. Um, so usually you're going to damage reduction and then real in most cases, the best thing to do is going to be to alt. Now it's going to be a case by case scenario, depending on like the turn order. And that is not something I could really just say because like it's, it's going to depend because Noel gets 30% mobility. So if that extra 10%, because obviously you start the game with 80% mobility. So her being at technically one ten percent mobility, I don't know if it transfers over or whatnot. So we're going to have to see how exactly it works. But usually real alting is going to be the best. The real alt is going to make it. So Noel goes right after real's turn and he's at 120 speed. So then you skill two with Noel, giving the absolute area damage reduction and also the crit res. And then it's going to be Yuno's turn and he's going to alt, get his invulnerability again and keep it up pretty much for the rest of the battle now what i'm a bit interested in is what if instead of just alting with real you skill to get the speed increase and see how that goes that could for sure be another way to use it but that's mainly going to be the beginning turns and then from there you just use your uh your mind to just do whatever the hell you think is best so let's start with this team this is going to be basically the main team that you're going to be seeing now you could also see a variation with noel both work but for the uh case of this we're going to put it with ghost because i think not many people are going to really go for noel at least on global so against this team i mean you're going to be quicker than zora now zora for the most part is ran with four speed because if not he just doesn't work if the case is where he's ran with four speed and he is less defensive you could go for the kill on him. Now, honestly, I'd say I'd recommend you guys just killing uh, Luck, okay? Because if you kill Luck, he's, I mean, he's out, right? Like you kill the DPS, he's out. And then after that, they could kind of do some stuff, but you know it's going to have invulnerability. Because of that, you're not going to take damage from Reflection, so Zora won't be a problem. So best case with this is kill luck get the dps out of there and then it's really single target damage from zora and also william so it just doesn't matter and then you could easily kill them well at least easily kill zora because you know has invulnerability so i think you'd be just best off killing luck and then from that point it's just wraps because you're quicker than zora they can't really do much against you and that's that's it right um, now, if it's Noel, you might do a bit less damage, but because you're attacking a DPS, unless Luck is built very heavily with uh, defenses for some reason, you will be killing him. And then once you kill Luck, it kind of crumbles from there. That's the main reason why uh, using Noel is... I think now Noel's going to gain a bit of value over Ghost because this Noel puts 35% damage lower. So I definitely think that this might be impactful, but it's only impactful when you stack it with Zora's buff. But because Noel is quicker than Zora then it just doesn't matter. It does not matter. So that's just mono blue kind of out of there for now. I mean, if Nozelle ever comes back because of DLT, we could for sure see a resurgence because Nozelle for sure will be a lot better. And I mean, he's a def debuffer. He will be a bit more tanky and all that good stuff. So keep that in mind. Now, this version of the team, Mario turn one is going to have invulnerability. Okay, just keep that in mind. There's going to be invulnerability on Mario. You can't really do much against Mario Leona. Now you, for the most part, you're going to just skill two with Noel. Okay, you don't even need to combo if you really think about it. Um, the combo isn't really doing much because you're not going to need it. Okay, you're not going to need it. Reason being, they're all slow units. And what you're going to do on this team is you're going to skill two with Noel. Then you're going to obviously Charlotte um, ultimate. And then you're going to real speed up. So when you speed up with real, all your units are going to be quicker than them. And then you get to use, you know, silence Mario or whoever you'd like to. If you'd want to silence Vanessa, you could go ahead and do that. Um, but once you speed real up, you kind of just win. Okay. Where once you speed up with real, you kind of just win. Um, because your, you know, is going to be quicker than all of them, quicker than um, 
Vanessa. And I mean, even if they have barriers over time, you're going to be able to play the long game because you have silence and they don't. Okay, they don't. Now, you could get lucky if you have a Noel skill page and taunt Mimosa, but if you don't, I don't really see it as that much of a problem. Um, I would say getting rid of Vanessa, slowing her down as much as you can would be best. Now, the person to silence their skill too would probably be Mario Leona if you can. Because uh, when Yuno has Spirit Dive after using his ultimate, you can silence his skill too. And if Mario hasn't used it at that point, you'll be fine. Now, for the most part, you are just going to kind of save that combo for later on. If ever you can't use the combo, then the wall is going to be able to use that. Probably the best turn order is going to be like skill 2 with noelle into the combo for noelle and then see if that works but this team might be a bit rough because obviously mariel is going to be very annoying on it but as long as you get vanessa and you like make sure to immortality uh make sure to stop her and silence her then you should be good with you uh, silence so definitely keep that in mind now for the spirit dive you know version of this um which switches like this usually you run the team like that if i'm remembering correctly um this one honestly like you're gonna it's gonna be a bit rough actually this team is very good okay reason being spirit dive is invulnerable turn one because of mimosa and this one i mean just thinking about it you're probably better off to just um silence mariel now you would like to still go and speed up with rill now you know is probably gonna attack noel okay and because of that, it's going to depend who, the, who the Yuno attacks with his ultimate, being the Spirit Dive ultimate. Um, but we're going to have to see. And my guess is that, like, this is a bit of a hard team to really understand, like, how to play against with the Noel team. But I'm going to have to say that if you uh, get silenced, it's fine. You just want to use the skill 2 with Noel first. And then afterwards, you're going to combo. Now that silence can be annoying. So, and you can't really stop it because, you know, you know, has silence block. So no matter what, you're kind of screwed in that regard. Okay. So just uh, keep that in mind. Now, definitely, I would say playing around Mario, not really being able to do much is probably the best. If we're being honest, um, it, it's very hard to play around this team. Okay. I would say this one is definitely one of the more annoying teams, especially if it's well built. So yeah, this one, I think is the only one that can maybe give it trouble. Um, just because of the nature of how like the Noel team works, it's kind of bad against barriers. There's not really much to work around with that. Noel does have barrier removal, but that's only going to be after two turns that it becomes useful. But I definitely think you could easily win against it. It's just playing well, making sure you get rid of Mario or make her not that useful, have lower damage reduction. Um, and overall, I'd, I'd say you should be good. I, I would definitely say that. Um, so that's mono green done. Now mono red, this is the first version that we're going to talk about. So, uh, Rill and Yuno. Now, this one's going to be interesting. First of all, we'll talk about Yuno's, Yuno's place in this. So, Yuno's going to have to silence someone. And usually, you're going you're gonna to try and have uh, the silence skill page on Charlotte. I'm unfortunate where I don't have it max duped. But if you do, you do want to place the silence skill page on Charlotte, the silence block skill page. Um, but now, Yuno usually, because he's probably going to put this. He's not going to put it on the well, because at that point... Or I might, he might, he might actually put on the well. I'd say putting it on the well is not a bad idea. Um, but overall, it won't, it will make actually, it won't make the biggest difference because at least you're going to get damage reduction on, you know, on your spirit dive, you know, uh, with the skill one. But I would say that this, you know, is probably like the biggest, it's just hard to really say how exactly it's going to look against this team. Like who would you silence? In my opinion, um, silencing real is probably going to be the best option. Because then it's going to stop the speed and damage reduction on everyone. So for the most part, I think most people are going to silence Rill. Now, Rill skill 1 still gives 20% uh, mobility to the defender, to Noel. So, I mean, there is that. Noel's still not going to be completely just thrown out of there. But this Yuno will definitely be a bit annoying to actually fight um, if you do silence Rill. Okay. But Noel, uh, we'll have to see how exactly that works with the mobility she gets from the dupe 5, I believe. But at that point, if Noel silenced, she still used the combo. Now, the combo, you're probably going to want to actually get that combo done on um, Rill. Now, Rill, if, you, if he's not running speed, you're in a decent spot, okay? But I think for the most part, you don't need to run the four speed with Rill. So, he's going to be very tanky too. So, overall, for this team... Um, I think this one is the more annoying version of the team for the Noel comp because they like to kill DPS's turn one, right? But if there's no DPS's, it is a lot more difficult. But let's say your Noel does get silenced. Well, GG, you win. Why? Because of the fact 
that Yuno is going to be able to silence Witch Queen or Asta, probably Asta. So Yuno silences Asta, and then that's GG. Now, if it's your um, Rill that gets silenced, well, now you're in a bit of a tough spot, okay? The reason is um, because you're going to lose out on the speed, and they'll technically be able to just cleave you. But the thing is with that, there's a big thing with that, okay? If your Rill does get silenced. You know it's going to have invulnerability, and Noelle should be able to tank it because it's Noelle, and she has type advantage. So those two things will have to come into play. But if those two live, you kind of just win for the most part um, because you're going to be able to silence someone you want. And that's going to be something that's going to be a play by like It's going to be a game. Like it's going to be a play by play, right? L depending on the match, match by match basis is how you're going to have to go about it. Um, but definitely silencing real is probably going to be the best approach for this uh, team comp, right? I would probably say so. Um, but it's going to be, a, this one I think is going to be slightly rough as if they do silence real, if they silence anyone else, you win. Okay. But in a normal bot environment, I don't think they're going to silence real. So for the most part, I think red, you know, like it's going to not be that bad. It's just like in the case that it does happen, like what do you do? Right now, in the case of red Charmy version, you kill Charmy turn one because Noelle and well, Noelle puts the invincibility, but then you know removes immortality and then charmy's done okay so from that point it's just gg even if real does kill someone i mean you know is going to be quicker than both asta and witch queen so you know is going to be able to silence asta and even if witch queen uses the ultimate or skill two doesn't matter asta won't be able to do much asta is only going to be relegated to using his skill one and then you could slowly chip away a witch queen if depending on the skill that Asta uses, then slowly chip away a Yuno and then get Link Black Asta for last and just absolutely destroy. So this version a lot easier, but with Red Royal, um, it could definitely prove to be annoying because of the speed increase. So you're gonna have to find ways to play against that. But I think for right now, uh, it should be fine, right? Now there's another thing to mention is that obviously Real, not Real, sorry, Fenrir and Grey are gonna come out um, a week after Noelle, so those two are probably gonna help the meta quite a lot. But I'd say that like this team is gonna prove to be a bit difficult if you know silences your real and real only now this is the last main team comp there's a couple different variations so let's talk about them uh but this one it's gg you win um you're able to instantly kill fuego because of the same thing you're, you're able to immortality removal and because it's noel and you know both being a like dps build 90 percent plus 90 percent against the dps this uh, like week is basically just a win a free win okay that's number one now let's say it's with the vanessa build okay with the summer vanessa do i have summer vanessa yes now this one is actually going to be a bit more difficult to kind of get through but you should see um similar results overall um you're just gonna like combo turn one okay uh and then from that point you're you're kind of just gonna be fine because you know it's gonna have it, it's invulnerability okay now with that invulnerability you know it's gonna be safe and noel should be safe now, Noelle's going to skill 2, Rill's going to skill 2, they're going to get 90% damage reduction. You're not going to apply burns, you're going to apply one burn in the whole thing, and that's going to be it. Okay, and usually you should be able to live it, unless this Fuego like is like 110k CC Fuego, you're going to be able to live it um, pretty much all the time. But it's just going to take for sure a bit of luck, but you're going to get the 90% damage reduction, okay? So just keep that in mind, 90% um, damage reduction plus crit res, and that crit res should definitely help you out quite a bit honestly quite a bit now the other team comp is with black asta and that's gonna be just uh black asta and then ghost okay now this one is gonna definitely go in your favor if i could find my ghost please hello 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 um so this one's gonna go in your favor now the reason is because of the fact that there's just not much they could do i'm just gonna say it out right ghost is there no dlt block though and uh you're just gonna be able to kind of chip away a ghost a bit at the beginning spirit dive is type advantage noel's type advantage so you know uh ghost is gonna take a decent amount of damage but of course he is built defensively okay now the thing is you could just silence black asta and then you're 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 fine you're you're fine right that, that's it you silence black asta okay um if you really want to you could silence mario instead actually probably silencing mario would be better so you silence mario okay and then from there, you chip away at everyone. Okay, you chip away at everyone. You get back your silence every turn. So then you're going to be able to silence Black Asta pretty much the next turn, almost. And I mean, at that point, they can't really do much. No matter what you say, like, 
if Lacoste is silenced and if Mario is silenced, they're not really doing much. And you're going to be able to put multiple absolute silences up uh, at the same time. Like when one's up, you're going to be able to put another one up at the same time. So it's going to be pretty rough uh, for them. So that's like kind of how I feel like it's going to play against most teams. I definitely think that this team and also this team is going to be a bit rough. I feel like this team is going to take a bit more brainstorming to see how exactly we could beat it with this. But uh, for now, that's basically it. I just wanted to have a little discussion video. But we'll get more info probably soon. I mean, Noel's coming out in 12 days, so I'm very excited. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.